Hello everyone. Sorry there's no music because at the start screen of this game, the music plays for a little bit and then just stops. It doesn't like loop. Anyway, here we are. We are here for the Yu-Gi-Oh! finale. Now, when I click continue, what should happen is that it should take us to the like little bit where Yugi's grandpa will talk to us right before we start the like uh the pyramid ladder again. Um <laughs> find out this time on Silver Ball Z. You're so correct, Brody. Here we go. Yes, here we go. We have Yugi's grandpa saying, excuse me, can you give me a minute? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a safe state right here, gang. Right there. Happy Monday. Hello, friends. Thank you for being here. Um, so we did a little save state. So this time, if we lose tonight, we should be able to go right back there and we will uh, just, you know, start the, the pyramid over again. So that way we don't have to look for the uh, rare hunters again. And as we have seen, we have Taya. She is being mind-controlled by the evil Merrick. And we are starting here at the bottom rung of the ladder. And we are fighting our friend Taya under the control of Merrick. So, um, we're gonna... We're, we might have some issues here. I sure hope that we can get through this the first time through. Um, we just had a an absolute nightmare draw last time we were in this position. Nightmare draw. Um, so we're gonna do that for now. But one thing I did do is I did remove the, um, I did remove the card crush card from our deck because it was so niche. Um, excuse me. There we go. Ah, I see. Okay. A <laughs> yogi. Oh, you're very right. Um, all right, we got a couple Dunamis. I'll set one down here. We might get in a little bit of trouble with her traps, but we'll see. Mirror Force. That's fine. I still have a Torrential Tribute here, so if she plays a card, I can destroy it. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is a. Uh the hardcore healing deck. All right. Multiply. Speaking of niche cards, I probably should have taken that out of my deck. All right. All right. I hope this is not another mirror force. I think it literally can't be. We'll see. Wonderful. Oh, well. <laughs> There's a thousand back. That is fine. Okay. Oh boy. All right, Grave Keeper's Servant is a terrible card. Um, I think we were pretty much able to get rid of it last time, but as you can see, each time your opponent attacks the monster, uh, the opponent must send one card from the top of his or her deck to the graveyard. That can make our um, deck go very fast. I'm actually gonna complete my turn here, because I don't want to attack with that on the field. Um, not unless I have a great reason to. And having St. Joan out is very bad. Very, very bad. All right, let's see. I will discard Black Luster Soldier. We are not likely to play it. Um, multiply as well. Um, no. Okay, so not the worst scenario in the world. We can get rid of this Gravekeeper's Servant, which we love. And we can get our Mystical Space Typhoon right back. Um, I do want to destroy this monster if I can. That is fine. So St. Joan will destroy our Dunamis Dark Witch, but that's okay. Pot of Greed is wonderful. Ooh, baby. Let's go. Let's go. This is gorgeous. Um, so here, 
We can activate Change of Heart. We're going to pick up that St. Joan. And we are going to play our boy Jinzo, baby. And as a matter of fact, let's flip Magician of Faith so we can get that Change of Heart right back. That is great. Okay. Lots of good damage here. Not much from Magician of Faith, but that's okay. So, she does have a Marie the Fallen one in her graveyard there. Absolutely, positively hate to see Swords of Revealing Light right there, but... All right. Maybe I should have taken Mystical Space Typhoon. All right. We'll keep it as is. All right, we did uh, discard our Black Luster Soldier. Okay, we're actually in pretty good shape. Um, she keeps gaining a lot of those life points back with Marie the Fallen One. But luckily what we can do here is we can do some glorious stuff. Uh, we have Jinzo out on the field. So none of these crap cards will do anything. So we can just attack freely. Um, <laughs> yeah, Ziggy is the only thing that comes up when you type Z-I. I get it. I was there for it, Brody. Ah, Nimble Momonga. Oh, that is totally okay. We will take that all the way. And you know, just to add insult to injury. We'll go ahead and grab that. All right, tear it down. We got one down. So if you recall last time, we made it through Taya here in the pyramid. Ah, Taya snaps out of Merrick's mind control. You can see her eyes are normal again. Joey has been captured, however, so we have to keep going up the pyramid ladder here to try to save our friend Joey. Um, and if you recall, oh, Strings. Mm. Strings is who we lost to last time. So basically what happens is the first three opponents in the pyramid is going to be Mind Control Taya, two random rare hunters, and then the last two. So last time it went Odeon Strings, this time it's going Strings into someone else. <laughs> yeah, Ziggy has uh, just affected everyone, you know. Um, I'm just going to set those up and we're going to be in a really good spot to fight back if they decide to play a monster here. Oh, absolutely. Boom, baby. Love getting rid of his Vorse Raider there. I don't really know what he's going to have in terms of... Let's just play Seth Colored Fish. Um, trap cards right now. This was... Oh, there's Mirror Force. That's why we didn't play Vorse Raider quite yet. Uh, you know what? All seeing White Tiger, I will let that hit me. Um, because negate attack could become much more useful down the line to negate something that's going to hurt a little more than the all-seeing white tiger there. And we can destroy it easily with Force Raider. So, um, we are trying to avenge our loss to strings. Um, if you recall, the reason... Ugh, it's so annoying. Um, the reason that we lost before... And here's a good spot for that negate attack... The reason that we lost before was because we just kept drawing cards that we could not play. I'm pretty sure we had every Tribute Summon monster in our deck in our hand at the same time. And we just couldn't find one. Just couldn't find one to play. Whoa, you just did your first Nuzlocke, Brody. That's cool. Um, all right, we'll do Giant Rat in defense mode. We are not loving what's happening right now. 
But this giant rat will let us uh, grab another giant rat, which will then let, let us grab a, another giant soldier of stone. So we're kind of buying time here. All right, <laughs> there's another giant soldier. Um, okay, so here I like playing our summon skull. Perfect. We'll attack that face down. Hopefully it's not something disastrous. And it is something disastrous. But if he wants to kill our summon skull, he'll have to kill his own as well. Honestly, I'll take that. I will take that. And he seems to have better cards right now um, than he does in like the normal game, or at least, or at least he's getting really good luck. A Yu-Gi-Oh Nuzlocke? I do not want to imagine that, Brody. I would be very sad. Oh, hold on, I do have to update my record here. Wait, hold up, Monster Reborn. I mean, things are looking bad, guys. Like, this is, this is ridiculous. I can't, I can't believe it. Um, he just keeps drawing good cards. Um, okay, good. All right. Got a plan. We can do this. So, Giant Soldier of Stone. This is actually a nice little trick. So what we can do here is we can use our giant soldier of stone to destroy the weak humanoid slime. So now I gotta be really careful here because we don't want to complete our turn. We want to proceed to main phase two. And here is where we can play more magic and trap cards. You can actually play magic and trap cards in both your main phase one and main phase two. So now that I've destroyed the weaker humanoid slime, I can play fissure which destroys your opponent's lowest attack monster on the field. And since I destroyed Humanoid Slime, that card is now his Summon Skull. Okay, so I got rid of that scary card a second time. <laughs> Brody, don't say that. Don't say that. Don't even put it in the universe. I do like that draw for sure right now. Because this does negate my own trap card that I just set, but we can deal a lot more damage with that. I don't think I've played a magic card to even use Magician of Faith right now. Um, Alright. There's a Blue Eyes. I'm just going to attack into it. This might be reckless. We'll see. Okay, no, we good. <laughs> we good. And again, I will say... My draw here against strings has not been great. I am not, uh, I'm not totally fussed with how we've drawn. Um, excuse me. But let's see. Alright, still fine. Would have been good attacking with Rocket Warrior there, but we wanted to make sure we could get over it, just in case he had, like, a Mystical Elf or a Giant Soldier or something. Oh, there's the jam breeding machine. But that's all right. Just one swing of our Jinzo's mighty axe here. And we made it past strings this time. Very happy to see that. Should not have been as close as it has been, but that's all right. So now, we go up to the third rung of our pyramid ladder here. Let's see who we get. Ooh, the rare hunter. Okay. Now I'm very nervous, folks, because we have faced this guy before. We have faced this guy before. You're actually right, Brody. I am going to save state here. Oh, boy. Um, I am going to save state, for real. Um, yeah, perfect. <laughs> just in case he gets Exodia, which is what he is trying to do. All right. 
But I will say from here on in, I'm not going to save state again. Um, just because I want to be able to not completely cheese this. You know? You know what I'm saying? Um, we will get rid of all of his... Ugh. That's fine. That just lets him draw a card. Um, but there... If he just plays another monster on the field, we can destroy everything with Torrential Tribute. Lovely. That does let him draw one of the pieces of Exodia. Sangan is a very scary card to see from him. Um, let's play Dynamis here. Alright. Again, name of the game against Rare Hunter is to... Um, defeat him as quickly as you can. All right. Let's see. Hmm. I don't know if I want to give up my Force Raider just in case something bad happens here. Magician of Faith. That'll let him play Graceful Charity again. Yeah. And again, Graceful Charity is really good for him because that's going to let him just kind of like cycle through the cards in his deck so he can get the right cards. Should have saved my Harpy's Feather Duster. All right. You can activate this card when your opponent draws a card outside of his or her draw phase. Draw two cards from your deck. Oh, that's interesting. Um, all right, we do have to set one of these cards so we don't have to discard it. There we go. Okay. So right now we're playing a bit of a waiting game because we've got to wait on Swords of Revealing Light. Um... <laughs> ah, Cannon Soldier has an interesting ability. It can sacrifice a card on his side of the field to do direct damage to my life points, um, which is what you just saw there. Um, yeah, dude, this guy is no joke. All right, I'm glad Swords of Revealing Light is gone. He will destroy my penguin, but I can return this to his hand. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna wanna risk it here a little bit. Okay, I do have my Gemini Elf in my back pocket, so even if that trap over there is really bad, I still have Gemini Elf. And it is, it's the worst possible thing it could have been. So that's cool. And you're just kind of in a spot where you gotta go fast, you know? Seven Tools of the Bandit would have really come in handy. Alright, let's see. Let's see what we can do here. And he negates my attack. Let's see how this goes. Kind of sacrificing his cannon soldier there. Hmm. All right, like that a lot. We do kind of have some contingency plans here. Um, in case something goes wrong, we have the dark hole set down there. We have our seven t seven tools of the bandit, which I really like. Um, let's see what we got. <sighs> Negate attack once again, but we can activate seven tools of the bandit. Mm. All right, that's great. Can we win here? 
Yes, we can. All right. And there are seven colored fish for the victory. So that's going to bring us to 83 and 12. Hopefully we will finish 85 and 12. All right, so we have defeated the rare hunter. So what we're going to do here is we have the last two fights of the Pyramid Ladder. And you will see the penultimate duel. Ooh, in this cool new blue room, we have our friend Joey, who is under the mind control of Merrick. Let's see what we can do against him. I'm very scared. I'm very scared, actually. Ooh. We had this music before, but... Mm. Very, very good. Okay, so we really got to pay attention here, gang, because Joey can do some real damage. And if you get the wrong draw against him, you are not going to be feeling good. So... I'm going to try to bait him here. <sighs> Mirror Force, I don't love seeing that turn one. Because um, it, it feels a little bit wasted on just one uh, Slate Warrior. But being able to play Jinzo here is also extremely valuable because as you can see, he loaded up on some traps and I can just attack him freely. Um, and we do have some good contingency plans here as well. So I'm feeling okay against Joey. Against Merrick Joey. All right. What I would love more than anything is my right Geki. Um... But honestly, I might be able to win this right here, right now. Let's just do flip. Oh, I can use that on him. Let's go. There you go. Now I can use Monster Reborn. Let's see what he discarded. Oh, I got a Vorse Raider. Let's do it. And now in that one beautiful play with Jinzo leading the way, blocking all of those trap cards, we're just going to be able to knock him out. Easy peasy, easy peasy victory gang. Wow. Crazy. All right. So now... Joey has come to his senses. Arg! What the? What am I doing here? Wait, if I remember now, the ghouls! If you go on from here, you'll have to face a very vicious and dangerous duelist. Since Yuki isn't here, it's up to you to win! That was my bad Joey voice. <laughs> so now... Now... We have the top of the pyramid ladder. And it is against none other then the evil, scary Merrick in the Golden Throne Room. Ooh, very scary, very scary. He has a very ooh, freaky strategy as well. I really hope we do not succumb to it. Let's find out. All right. Sorry, I just clapped. I saw that was loud. Ah, infinite cards is... This is the final boss theme, baby. Very interesting. Not really what I expected. Alright, so what this card does, infinite cards, it lets him have no limit to um, the amount of cards we can have in our hands. Um, which is interesting and could come in handy. But it just depends. Um, 
here. I might just chill. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what he's got. Okay, very bad. No! So this is going really bad, completely immediately. Um, I do have a magic jammer, I gotta try. Yep, at least that destroys his cards too. Um, let's see what I can do here. I do have Monster Reborn in my back pocket if I need it. So, as you can see, he had a couple weak monsters. That will actually really come into play in his strategy. And th that Monster Reborn can really come in handy for me as well. I'm actually going to chill. I might have to take a big hit here. We'll see. Alright, so he doesn't do anything. He wants to stay in defense mode. Let's see. Alright, I'm fine with that. Gets rid of his other card. What was it? A Mask of Darkness. That lets him replay a trap card. It's like the Magician of Faith, but for traps. Um, so that could be very bad for me. Yes, absolutely. So I can block his Monster Reborn, which is huge. And I have the Black Luster Ritual. That I can freely discard. Um, all right, so, <laughs> and there's the Black Luster Soldier. That's okay. That's okay. Um, I might just chill here. Because I don't want to blow my Monster Reborn and just have that monster get destroyed by that trap. I'm really scared of that trap right now. All right. We'll see. Okay, that's a good card to pull. So as you can see, his Muka Muka has more attack power. And it increases the attack and defense of this card by, uh, by 300 points for every card in your hand. So that's why he wants to have infinite cards there. So it only has 600 um, attack, but it can get very strong if we let it. And that's part of his big strategy. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. We're weathering the storm. <laughs> Excuse me. Alright. Alright, Axe of Despair is not doing great things for us right now. We will destroy his Muka Muka, but we'll see what happens here. Losing our change of heart. Um, in that early turn was very brutal. Alright. Alright, Giant Soldier of Stone. I love that insurance policy. Um, let's see what we can do here against his face down. Alright, that's fine. I will take that. I'll take that all the way to the bank. Alright. really hoping he wouldn't do that. Um, gosh, guys. We're just in a tough spot. I'm just going to attack with Dunamis again. Um, Alright. <laughs> because at a certain point, you kind of have to like work your way through their trap cards. Because he, he won't have another Mirror Force. He won't have another... Uh, all right, there's Jinzo. So we're actually in decent shape here. So let's do this. Finally, we can negate that trap that he's got face down. And this will be a great time to use my Monster Reborn. So I have a couple of options here. I can take one of his Muka Mukas and kind of use his strategy against him. I think I have five cards in my hand, so that's an extra 1,500 attack on this Muka Muka. Um, so I think I might actually do that. Yeah, there we 
we go. 2100, that's lovely. All right, so a nice little bit of offense here for us, which we badly need. All right, just about pulled even. Let's see if we can finish this out, gang. Okay. I would love to pull my Raigeki right now. Part of the cards. Guide me. If I pull Raigeki, we win. That would have been so cool. Would have been so cool. Um, also, my change of heart would have won us the game right here, but... Let's just see what we got. Um, right. I'll let Muka Muka attack. That's fine. I will take that. Jinzo. Jinzo's the GOAT, guys. Jinzo is the GOAT. That is the reason that we did not, we have not lost already, is Jinzo. Um, all right, again, if I pull Raigeki, we win. Still no, but that's okay. Um, we do have some good traps in case things go south. I would love to use my plot armor. <laughs> that's a great idea, Brody, actually. Um, okay. I'm going to attack with Jinzo and see if I can destroy him with his own monster. Magician of Faith. That is okay, because he's not going to get a chance to play it. Oh, and with that, folks, we have beaten Yu-Gi-Oh! Worldwide Edition, Stairway to the Destined Duel. Ah, I will return, Joey and your friends, but do not be fool enough to believe that this is where it ends. My family's thirst for vengeance will not be sated until Yugi has fallen one day. Until that day comes, the ghouls will rise again. Ah. Ah, uh, weary from duel, remember, Merrick said, thanks, losing, losing consciousness. So we lose consciousness, and Taya just wakes us up. Um, and honestly, that's that beats the game, um, but there is a ton of other stuff that you can do. There are some other duelists that you can... Um, challenge now that we've beaten the game you can do special challenges where you can do um, uh, you can do special challenges where you can only use one type of card one type of monster card um, and now as you can see we're just back into target week and uh, you can, and now the uh, ghouls, you can challenge them as many times as you want. They'll show up on the map like normal. They won't have to like pop up out of nowhere. Um, because now, once you kind of beat the game, it's a very loose game. As you can see, there's a couple uh, new people. Like you can challenge Merrick there. Here, we are gonna challenge this person because I think I know who this is gonna be, hopefully. Oh no, this is Shadi. Um, Shadi is Ishizu's brother, um, and I'm pretty sure he is connected to um, he is connected to Merrick in some way as well, if I recall correctly. So for the our last little bit for tonight, we we were able to beat the game, but as you can see, it's more of a duel simulator. So the game just keeps going. You can just keep playing as much as you want. You can duel the computer as much as you want. Um, Collect all the cards, do whatever. Beat all the target weeks, beat all the special kind of deck challenges. Um, there's tons of stuff that you can do in this game. Um, but as far as we're concerned, it'll probably be our last time um, playing through tonight. Um, but it's been a joy. I have, I have loved playing this for you guys. I love this game. And not many people know it. I can't uh, count how many times... I have shared a clip from this game, and people have just been like, what game is this? I don't even know what this is. Um, all right, we'll get rid of our Black Luster Ritual. We'll get a Rocket Warrior. Um, 
So here, let's just play Force Raider. We're just gonna chill. Um, ah, yes, Brody. Um, it, we are going to continue with Platinum. That is something that we're gonna continue doing. Um, uh, of course, we just started it. But we are going to kind of have another game in this slot. Um, in this kind of like bi-weekly, the bi-weekly Yu-Gi-Oh slot. Um, a game that, you know, might not be as popular as the Pokemon games I've been known for playing. Um, I'll just take that, actually. Um, might not be as popular as the Pokemon games I've been known for playing, but is still a game that I cherish and want to share. Um, so yeah, there will be another, like, game in the Yu-Gi-Oh! slot in two weeks, which I'm very excited to show you. Um, I forgot to play my Giant Soldier last turn. It seems like my Vorse Raider is going to destroy this card, whatever it is. Oh, and it doesn't. <laughs> Oopsie. Um. So, Shoddy is just a normal duelist. I don't think he's anything insane unless he plays a Blue Eyes White Dragon. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, trap hole! How about a turn ago? Alright, yeah, we're in bad shape here again. Um, he might beat us. I mean, it's fine if he does, but... Might as well destroy that. Um, let's see, did that take us to... I don't know, we're 85 and 12. Uh, perfect. So our Vorse Grader goes down. I would love to pick up a Dark Hole or something. Something to just easily destroy this Blue Eyes. Uh, Karibo. That'll make it so it can't destroy our life points yet. He's got some good cards, man. Um. <laughs> yes, that's right. Um. You know, it's interesting, Brody. I I am very interested to see what people think of the next game. All right, we're going to do a Time Wizard. Let's go. Risk it for the Biscuit Gang. Tails never fails. Except this time. All right, so we lost a Shoddy. Who cares? We already beat the game. It's fine. <laughs> Oh, that was not good, but that's all right. We were able to defeat Merrick and his nefarious scheme. Shoddy's a nice guy. He's not trying to destroy the world. He's just beating us in a duel. I feel like I am losing more than I have in the other times that I've played this game. I mean, because usually when you start off, you lose several times. So like Yugi and Joey and Kaiba, like we had that. Um... Let's see, there should be some other duelists that we can find. Um, I want to find at least one or two more that I know we can fight. Um, let's see, but I, I am, guys, like, I am so, excuse me, I am so excited to continue with Platinum. Like, it has been so great. The start of Platinum so far has been so much fun. Um, oh, and here's one of those things that I was telling you about you have um, a limitation on your deck. So you can make a specific warrior card deck um, where the only monsters you're allowed to have are warriors. So that is really fun. And I mean, you know, I might reserve the right to have a special Yu-Gi-Oh! episode where we build a specific warrior type deck for one of these limited challenges, but uh, it's not likely. We'll just put it that way. Uh, beep 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 bleep. The answers to the test are darn. It doesn't work. <laughs> That's so weird. Um, okay. Yeah, there are. Like I said, there should be more of those. Um, you know, kind of like the green static, like we saw when we challenged uh, Shoddy there. I don't know if there's like a. Anything that we have to... I completely forgot about Target Week. Um, if there's any, like, prere prerequisite we have to hit or anything. 
Um, but let's see. Whoa, Brody, I have no idea what you're talking about. Let's see. It is cool seeing, like, the icons of those people, like the rare hunter that we looked for for so long. Um, and, like, Arcana. There's Shoddy. We're 0-1, of course. If we see Shoddy again, we should probably try to even up our record. <laughs> That's your full legal name. I see. Uh, let's see. Still no shoddy. Let's keep it going. Alright. Let's see here. One thing I might do... I kind of want to show you this. This could be fun. I want to show you the deal with the rare hunter because I kind of want to see if we can lose to him so you can see what Exodia looks like. Um, I actually really want to show that off, so I'm going to literally try to intentionally lose to the rare hunter. Um, we'll see what we can do here. Um, my deck might be too good. Um, but I have to lose via Exodia. I can't just lose. So it's gonna be it's gonna be an interesting balance. <laughs> this will be fun. I love this. Mystic Tomato, that's fine. Oh, he's chaining his jars of greed. Alright. I forget what Mystic Tomato does. Um, I will direct that back at him though. Let's see. So Mystic Tomato, how does this work? Um, when this card is sent to the graveyard as a result of battle. All right, so he can get his Exodia that way. Um, okay, Pot of Greed. Okay. Um, ah, yes, okay because that will let him draw cards if I draw on not my uh, draw phase. So I'm gonna get Pot of Greed back and try to use it against him there. All right, all right, all right, let's see. I might have to get, uh... Alright, I will destroy Mystic Tomato, if I can. Because that'll help him draw a card. This is so interesting, trying to help my opponent win a duel. Oh, okay, he's gonna negate it. Um... Let's do it. That lets him draw two cards as well. Very cool. Um, I do, I can do Black Luster Soldier, that's hilarious. Um, but I am gonna just do Graceful Charity. Alright, so I gotta just... We'll just do both of those. Alright. Alright, I'm golden. Let's see. Um, oh, that's cool, Brody. I like that idea. Uh, remember how Sangan was scary last time? Let's see. Oh my gosh, okay. I think I, think I do have to destroy Sangan, if I recall. Yes, just when it's sent to the graveyard. Let's do it. I will say I am very proud of my tier ideas, like my tier uh, names. 
I love the pup uh, the larva tier, pupa tier, and tyranna tier. Um, okay. So if you're just joining us, we are trying to lose to the rare hunter so I can show you the animation for Exodia in this game. Um, it will be iconic, it will be eternal. Um, let's see here. I'll go ahead and play my summon skull here. Alright. There's Sangan. Alright, that'll let him take an Exodia piece. I know he's got a couple. Um... Oh boy, that hurts. Ouch. Owie. Alright, I gotta be careful of that, because I don't want to lose like a lose like a regular loser. I have to lose extravagantly if I'm gonna lose to this guy. Okay. Alright, so Rageki's really good and we would use it here, but we're trying to be cheeky. And that's fine. All right. No, I'm running out of spots. All right, let's... Um, yes, this is perfect. <laughs> I'll get rid of one of you and just set Jinzo. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> Um, I love it. I love it. Oh, great. Okay. Um, oh, emote only chat. How fun. Um, all right. Let's see. Can we lose? All right. So I'm going to have to destroy some of his cards. That's the Mystic Tomato, so we can get the Sand Gan back out here, which is what we want. Ooh, no, he must be out of them. About, he's got to be close. Come on. Yes! Here it is. It's so cool! Wow, I'm so glad I was able to show that to you. <laughs> that was so funny and fun. <laughs> oh, so funny. So funny. I'm really glad that we were able to do this um, when the stakes were low and I did not need to defeat him. That was so great. I know, it was so scary. So scary. Um, <laughs> um, okay. Let's see. Ah, oh, I really want to find this last person. Okay. Um, so we gotta... We'll try to even our record against Shoddy. Oh, wow. So the ghouls still show up like this. I forgot about that. Just randomly. Which is kind of silly. They should probably take that out once you defeat the game. Especially because you can literally just challenge them however many times you want. You can literally fight Merrick. Um, but, oh well. All right, there's Shoddy. All right, let's try to beat Shoddy. Only a fool goes against destiny. Well, it's my destiny to defeat you this time, sir. Oh, and honestly, for people who are purists of the old Yu-Gi-Oh ways, um, I probably could have had a more optimal deck um, I just, I had some cards that I just really like. Like, having Black Luster Ritual probably isn't something that I needed. Um, but, you know, it's whatevs. I'm just gonna play you. Let's see what he does. Oh. 
I'd rather amuse Rageki on that, if I'm being honest. That's why I'm not playing my Vorse Raider here. I could do more damage, but... Then there's that to deal with! Yeah, I kind of have approached this game in that way, which you've definitely noticed if you've been paying attention, just like... Uh, no, not yet. Um, sometimes you just gotta go for it and not be afraid. Um, I don't love this. I'll just play Vorse Raider to just kind of equal it out. But this is looking eerily similar to my last fight with him. Yeah. Probably summon Skull. Yep. Down goes Vorse Raider. Excuse me. Gosh dang it, man. Like, it's so dumb. Like, I have so many ways to destroy a Sun and Skull like this. Yes. That is Karibo time. Ay, ay, ay. Hi, Karumba. And we can't end on a loss. I need to turn this thing around. Right, there's Gemini Elf. Doesn't help me at all. Um, I'm gonna go Time Wizard. I don't even care. Tails never fails, baby. Ah. <laughs> uh... I can survive one more turn, that would have come in great handy. There's Dark Hole, but alas, I have no cards to play with it. Um, I'll just use Heavy Storm to get rid of that. And Dark Hole. If only I would have drawn that. A turn earlier, I could have played my Gemini Elf to do some damage. Um, but at least he has nothing to play right now, somehow. Ugh. That's good, though. This is sad to watch. This is so just dumb. We're just not drawing anything. All right. All right, we're making a comeback here, though. We get Giant Soldier down. We're going to be A-OK. -okay. okay. Dark Magician Girl is powerful and can destroy our Giant Soldier, but we do have Dark Hole. We do have Dark Hole sitting there. I can't risk that. I have no more life points to give. So I'll play my Torrential Tribute if he plays any more monsters. Yes. <sighs> this is so stupid. Sometimes the game is just so stupid. Oh, wow. Uh, oh. All right. Okay. Okay. We're cooking. We're cooking. I can pick up that barrel dragon. That's gorgeous. Dark Magician if I want. Oh, I love that artwork for Dark Magician. Uh, but we're going to pick up the barrel dragon. Let's see. Let's make a comeback. It's a good start. Let's see. Come on now. Nothing dumb. There's something dumb. <sighs> um. 
I'm gonna risk this here. I knew I should have just used my Raigeki. Alright. Wow, it's so weird, because he, like, doesn't play any cards, and I have also no cards to play. It's so frustrating. Wow. No. Okay, I only have 22 cards left. There's a Summon Skull. There is another Tribute Monster I can't play. <sighs> wow. This is really just, uh... I know, this is really just a game to see who wants to lose more. Because now I have a couple good cards, but I can't use them. Alright, finally. Uh, do I just lose now? Yes. Okay, that is so dumb. That is the dumbest thing that's ever happened. Um... All right, we don't have much time, gang. Let's try to end on a win. Um, let's see. I don't want to fight either of those, any of those people. I want to fight someone good. Ah, uh, let's fight Yugi's grandpa. He's the one that started this episode, and we'll finish him off. <laughs> Should be an easy victory, hopefully. Crossing my fingers. Um, oh, the music. The music has me feeling some kind of way here. It's lovely. Let's see. It is interesting, because... That, ugh, that was just the worst duel ever. I'm so mad that we had to endure that in our last episode. It was so unpleasant. But it is what it is. We had a lot to deal with in our Emerald finale, too. It just took so freaking long to catch Groudon and Kyogre. Whatever. <laughs> So we should be able to tear through Tuesdale. I honestly can't believe that um, we were able to defeat Merrick Joey so easily. Those last two fights went way easier than I thought. Um, Alright, they really just... I'm going to see if I can get some damage here. Perfect. And we can probably bait him out. Probably bait him into our trap hole with our giant soldier of stone. Ha! Just as I suspected. Easy peasy. Oh, alright. I love it. Let's get blue eyes out. Ugh. Gorgeous. Yeah, baby. Alright, that is lovely, but here comes his Raigeki. Are you ready? Here it comes. Luckily. Alright. Alright, let's see if Seven Colored Fish can help us close this out. Easy. 
Easy money. Blue Eyes White Dragon, deliver the final blow for us on this playthrough. Thank you very much. Thanks for letting us end on a win, Blue Eyes White Dragon. So folks, on our playthrough, our record um, turns out at 86 and 15. Um, so, you know, a winning record by a wide margin, but, you know, we lost some crazy duels there. Um, but anyway, folks, I really appreciate you being here with me. Um, I know that this has been, um, interesting for some of you in the Silver Cave gaming audience. Um, it's been enlightening for some, it's been, you know, just something that you don't really care about for others, but I was so happy to share this game with you, and that is the point of me doing this, is to share my love of video games with you, um, and share pieces of my heart with you, honestly. That is kind of a lot of what I strive to do in my life with my music and with this in a different way, you know. So, thank you. Every time I finish a game, I have a lot of gratitude for that. Um, but that said, I always reserve the right to resurrect the series if I want to. It's not likely, but I might. Um, anyway, thank you for being here um, for Yu-Gi-Oh! Worldwide Edition, Stairway to the Destined Duel, with me, your host, Trent. And... I will see you all next time. We'll continue with Platinum this week. And in a couple weeks um, on a Monday, we will have a new interesting game that you might not expect. All right. Thanks so much. Have a great week. Happy Monday. Peace out, kids.